everybody, back to the final round of PTL Open uh, Volume 2. Yep, uh, hi there everyone, uh, my name is Mike. Back with you again, it is Sumit for the finals. We're going to close out this weekend with a bang. Uh, Bohan we just saw on stream in the last uh, game, uh, he was running a Rebel List that time, and that's the thing with the PTL Open, is that uh, each player is bringing three lists. Right, absolutely. And as they subsequently get their way through their top eight, top four, and now their final game, they can only run one of the lists that they had. They can't yeah. run the same one all three games. During Swiss, you were allowed to pick and choose which uh, list you were going to run. During the top cut, uh, you uh, are still allowed to pick and choose, uh, but you can only run each one once. Correct. So. <clears throat> A bit of backstory as well to this mm. match. Bohan and Robin face each other round three yesterday in Swiss with these exact same lists. So Robin's a uh, long, long-standing member of the PTL, mm. and, and uh, Bohan is uh, everybody should know as uh, two, two, I think, two years national champion two years ago or yeah, 2016. Yeah. 2016? Right. Okay, 2016 yeah. national champion. Yeah, and then he, then he stepped away from the game for a bit because it was just getting a little bit too much. And he's been posting a lot of really interesting articles lately about like the statistics and maths and. Good right. thing that he's come out from the calculator to have a little bit of chance to have some fun and play some X-Wing. So I'm glad that he's back. Uh, both awesome players. Great to see them. Class acts. And Robin, Robin is ro rocking uh, a list af af after and unto my own heart. Him and, I, <laughs> him and I are both very similar in our play style. We both adore Phantoms and we love right. Defenders. We both love running Whisper and Echo on the same list. Um, I absolutely adore this list. It's very, very interesting. It's very, very fun. Um, Sunafel with Juke, I think it's a great concept. I'm going to be interested to see how this plays out for him. I generally just run Sunter with a crack shot, uh, but it's really interesting to see him with Juke set up. This, this Whisper upgrade is a, a aggressively priced, but also mm -hmm. uh, a linchpin of a list in the setup. But the Darth Vader on Whisper is insane. It's, he's such a good uh, crew card to be carrying on there. Um, basically, you can you know get a token or do auto damage at range one. So it's right. it's like let me choose you how I'm going to damage you. So it's pretty great. Yep. Shield upgrade makes a lot of sense. You've got a lot of points invested in a ship, and it's actually only six points to get that shield upgrade. So that's a great value on a phantom, I think. Yeah, especially with the hull bump that it got as well. With with the way that phantoms work now as well, um, you don't have the situation where you get to shoot and then cloak immediately again. Yeah, you don't get to cloak until the end of the round. And yeah, only if you haven't, uh, only if you still have an evade token. So you're relying entirely on being out of out of arc of your opponent and your superior yeah. positioning, or otherwise you're just you hoping that you're not going to get shot. Otherwise, you only have those two uh, two evade dice. Exactly. Of four. So the shield upgrade makes sense to really help uh, extend their life. Right, right. Uh, so this should be really interesting to see exactly how Robin's list plays. Mm -hmm. uh, it'll be nice to see phantoms kind of whipping around the board like this. Any day is a good day when Echo's on the board, as far as yeah. I'm concerned. <laughs> uh, so over here on Bohan's side, uh, we have a very different list. Um, this is a Sloan-based list. Uh, that's actually really interesting. Because um, Sloan is generally better in swarms, I feel like. Mm. Right? Um <clears throat> Uh, but uh, we've got Darth Vader with Supernatural Reflexes and FCS. Uh, pretty solid. Um, Three shields on both phantoms. And we've got um, uh, a Row Squadron pilot. Uh, that is our uh, our Alpha Alpha class star wing. Yeah. Right? That's what we call it. Yeah. Uh, trick shot, fire control systems. Uh, advanced proton torpedoes. Advanced and proton tor torpedoes and proton torpedoes. So that covers all the ranges from mm -hmm. one through three. Um, advanced slam and then the arsenal loadout, which is the one that lets you shoot uh, torpedoes at people you have target locked, even if you have a disarm token. Uh, yeah, basically there's a there's a limit to it. We'll see if we can bring up the card in a second here. The uh, uh, OS one arsenal loadout whenever we can. Yeah. Uh, it's slightly changed for 2.0, but uh, we'll yeah, have let's, that. Let's see what it looks like. It should be right over on the row squadron somewhere here. Hold on a second. Yep. It should not have servo motor oh. as well. That's yeah. weird. Yeah, no, that doesn't make any sense. We're just reloading. There we go. Okay. Uh, yeah, OS one arsenal loadout. Uh, do you mind moving the chat box there? Yeah, so when you have exactly one disarm token, you can still perform. Torpedo and missile attack. Exactly one. Against uh, targets you have locked. Which means I actually really like this roll build up. One forward, one forward slam, advanced slam for a target lock. You can still you can still shoot somebody with either your advanced proton or your regular proton torpedo. Mm -hmm. It's a nasty setup. Trick shot if you're through a rock. It's a potential six tack dice, uh, advanced proton torpedo. And then you can slam away, reload. It's a really cool little build. And only 60 points means you could run three of them. Right. Oh, yeah, that would be really nasty. Or two in a pretty stuff. decent ship. Two yeah. in an 80-point ship. Ooh, yeah. two in a Phantom. Two in a Defender? Uh, no. Mm. No, the, you'd have to run a Nameless Defender. Rexler's the cheapest at 80, 88. Uh, oh, oh, 88. Oh, wow. Okay, yeah. fair enough. 
Um, still. Uh, and then we've got Colonel Jenden. Um, I'm not entirely sure what his ability is. Can you bring up Colonel Jenden for us? Uh, over here. Yeah, so Colonel Jenden, what he does, uh, at the start of the activation phase, you may spend one charge. He's only got two. If you do, friendly ships may acquire locks uh, beyond range three instead mm -hmm. of at range zero to three. So Great. sets up the alpha, alpha strike. Yeah, so the rogue's so, going to go in with focus target lock. Vader's going to go in with focus evade target lock, whatever yeah, he wants. Yeah. Doesn't have to waste supernatural reflexes off the beginning, or doesn't have to spend two focuses to do his ability at the beginning. Um, it makes a lot of sense. As you said, Jenden is either usually like a bomber missile swarm yeah. list, so that you can you can do that, or you sometimes see him for that respect. Well, let's take a look at Sloane's ability. Okay. Sloane's ability I haven't actually seen on stream yet. Um, Me neither. And it's uh, pretty intense. She's a fairly expensive card. Uh, if I'm correct, and what it says is, uh, after another friendly ship uh, defends and is destroyed, the attacker gains two stress tokens. That's a weird thing to put on a three-ship list, mm -hmm. um, because that's not going to happen that often. In a TIE Swarm, sure. Um, and also, when a friendly ship at range 0 to 3 performs an attack against a stress ship, it may re-roll an attack die. So that's always useful. Yes. Um, they're, they're two separate abilities. I think um, my, my assumption is Bohan's going after the secondary ability as opposed yep. to the primary one. Yep, just in case the ships stress themselves. Exactly. Um, and I don't think they're going to stress themselves that often. Suntir Fell might, uh, with his linked ability, uh, linked um, boost barrel rolls, yep. right? Uh, the auto thrusters uh, ability, I believe it, mm -hmm. it is. Um, I don't think that... Uh, <clears throat> I don't think that... Uh, Whisper and Echo, though, are going to be stressing themselves very often. Isakar, I don't think our unofficial events have, are going to have anything to do with the Empire being points rebalanced, unfortunately. As much <laughs> as I love them, I think the fact that everyone's flying them at all the premier events and spamming all the good ships, that they're going to get price balanced. Yeah, Isakar is saying here that uh, he's worried that Empire is going to get a points increase across the whole faction because they show up a lot in unofficial events. Maybe so, but uh, here's the weird thing about the PTL Open. These aren't the only lists that Bohan and Robin yeah. have been flying. Bohan just used a Rebel list to get into top two. Yeah, exactly. Uh, so Bohan uh, just flew a Rebel list. Uh, Robin has a scum list with him today? He did, but he just finished flying the Four Phantom. Yeah, oh, okay. Jukes, bam, list, which was really good. Right. Um, so uh, so there, there it is, right? It's not necessarily that the Empire got them here. Um, uh, to the final. Uh, it was the Rebels that got Bohan to the final. Yeah, and then he would have had to have played something different on his previous round as well. Yeah, exactly. I'm not sure what his third list is. Uh, <coughs> but, um, yeah, uh, Imps have seemingly been doing pretty well, I think. Yes, they have, yep. Yeah, uh, I, f I feel like the current sentiment is that Rebels are the ones struggling the most. I think I could get behind that sentiment. I mean, there's a lot of power there, but I think you're paying a lot more for it than you would be paying for it in other factions. Right, I think that's right. what... Uh, Fate of Kane is trying to say that imps do yeah. everything better and cheaper in regards to Rebel for sure, but you know Scum Scum's got a lot of really powerful tricks too. Yep, a large part of it is the like the bombers and punishers being pretty pretty low. They're cost effective, yeah, and then uh, um, well, uh, that's un uh, understatement compared to some other ships. Uh, yeah, very cost effective. But as we saw with Jump Masters, oh, sorry, the Jump Quad Jumper thingy, so those guys being twenty eight are also really cheap. So yep, there's a lot of cheap stuff out there. We've actually seen Quad Jumpers do very well. Um, this weekend, mm -hmm. seen them everywhere. Mm -hmm. Great little filler ship at twenty eight points. Yeah, I'm gonna have to build a list around one. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I might actually find an excuse to use two of them. I just like the way they look, so that's why I have to. Yeah, they're cute. Um, all right, so we've got uh, Jendin doing a hard two and uh, going up towards Robin's crew, while the Star Wings just slow rolling behind. It's uh, it's really interesting. Um, so normally in a final we would be doing a two-hour match, but uh, Bohan and Robin both agreed to do seventy-five minutes. I think it's because it's been a long day. Yeah, Bohan's got a bit of a hike. He's got to get <laughs> to Hamilton on his way back to London, where he, where he hails mm. out of. And I have a feeling this is not the kind of match to go long. It's only three ships on each side, uh, and they're all pretty squishy. Um, Sunter Fell is. I mean, he's he dodges arcs like crazy, but. Uh, if you catch him, he dies real quick. Uh, so we'll see how well Robin's able to dodge those arcs. Uh, and we'll see if they're able to um, handle that uh, that little torp boat that Bohan has here. Mm -hmm. Vader using supernatural reflexes to... Um, 
Well, zoom out from behind the shuttle and the Starwing. I figure Bohan's going to want to take the shuttle and the Starwing down, uh, up board down one way, and then mm. take and then use Vader to flank and press from both sides. Uh, I think, um, again, I don't know how their match went in Swiss, but I'm sure they're going to both learn from previous experience of when they played each other yeah. to decide how they want. And then you can definitely tell that Robin obviously has a bid because he is moving last. Mm -hmm. He definitely wants that sooner felt to move last. Yeah, absolutely. Although you'd want the same with Vader, but uh, mm -hmm. c'est la vie, right? Mm -hmm. Although, I mean, we just saw Vader do a barrel roll in five straight, right? Mm -hmm. um, with supernatural reflexes, he can boost first. Mm -hmm. But Five then he straight. takes a stress, a potential damage, sorry. Ooh, why is that? Uh, because supernatural reflexes do not let you do uh, an upgrade that you don't have on your bar. There's a, there's oh. a limit in there. No, 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 that's not true. To, you have to take a stress if it's not on your bar. Yeah. Oh, that's right. Yes. The TIE okay, Advance okay. no longer has the uh, boost action because there's right. no longer, engine upgrade is no longer take what it used stress? to be. No, suffer one damage. Yeah. damage. Yes, okay, okay, okay. That makes sense. Uh, so in which case, you are not. he's not going to be boosting um, ever. Probably. Pro ever probably, yeah. Uh, hmm. Interesting. Because I'd consider it a, in an emergency, right? That five boost, or that boost in like five straight early on uh, could get him in a very unexpected position. But to take a damage to do that? Mm -hmm. mm, tough choice. Well, if there was no real uh, negative to being able to do an action you didn't get, you'd be, they would basically be reintroducing the old version of Vegeta Upgrade, which they never wanted to do. Anyway. True. Right. Because then any force you usually could put that on their True. ship. True, yep, and that'd be that'd be pretty gross. Exactly. <clears throat> Looks like Robin's just bringing his ships up nice and slow. We've got the defenders, or the phantoms that is cloaked already. Um, so, which one's Echo? Echo is one. ship three. Yeah, the bottom one. Yeah, there. I usually paint all my phantoms so I can tell which one's which, but... <laughs> yeah, um... um what do you think? Do you think Echo is going to be decloaking towards the bottom here and coming at a, like trying to come from a different angle? I think he's probably going to use uh, Echo's uh, interesting barrel abilities to keep her in that bottom left hand corner as long as he can. <laughs> um, I that's personally what I think. I think he's going to do the uh, he's going to he's going to curve bank it to the left so that he's pointed at a forty five degree angle to the upward, and then he might hard one over towards that rock to kind of like tease that he's going to face off with, with uh, Vader. Well, I don't think he's going to want to go ship right at anything, so. Looks like dials are going down. It's hard to say if the dials are going down. They aren't putting them on the mat. I think um, Bohem has a habit of putting his dials on his pilot cards. Yeah, I think a lot of people do that. So that's exactly the, the decloak option I thought he would do with the Echo. Yeah, he's going to keep Echo behind the others. Mm -hmm. um, now, uh, is he decloaking? Forward. Um, Forward. Oh no! You know what? He might be cheeky, and he might side shift, whisper to the right. Mm -hmm. Oh, he's just not decloaking her at all. Oh no! He's uh, yeah. He's getting he's getting a uh, thing out of the way. Darkson, yeah, it is the final round of the PTL Open. Uh, so this is the last game, last of nine over the course of the weekend. And you can definitely tell there's some reps in with this kind of a list. It was a beautiful decloak option, knowing it's going to clear no problem, no hesitation, no no uncertainty. Mm -hmm. Very strong. Yeah, Robin's pr clearly practiced this opening, I feel like. Oh, hey, he's the only person I see who flies more phantoms than me or Graham. Yeah, it's how can I slow roll phantoms? Mm -hmm. uh, and I think he seems to have figured it out. Um, so, Colonel Jendon just moving forward, nice and slow. Mm -hmm. I think we're going to see a cautious approach to an engagement in this one. I don't think they're going to come out swinging. I think it's going to do quite a few turns before anything real substantial happens mm. because there's really no need to rush this on any of the ships. Well, maybe they should have uh, aimed for that two-hour... Uh... Well, it looks like uh, Bohan landed on the rock. Um, I think he was safe, though. He's safe. <laughs> <laughs> that's your favorite. <laughs> Robin pointing out that's the rock that he placed, so there you go. It's opening salvo maybe happened a little bit faster than we realized in different ways. Aggressive rock placement. Now, Fate of Kane suggesting that these phantoms are going to try and run towards the shuttle's side arc. I have a feeling Bohan's probably prepared for it. I'm betting, willing to bet uh, next round Bohan's going to be doing uh, one bank with the shuttle so that he's facing the oncoming rush. Mm. <clears throat> you do not want to leave that, um, that wide open. Okay, so yeah, just the thought, that's exactly what I thought he was going to do with his mm -hmm. Echo. 
just kind of jumping, swinging back and forth. With I mean, she could just go back to where she was last turn anyway, so that's, that's what's so great about it. Interesting. Oh, this is interesting. So Whisper managed to decloak beside Soontir, then turn in front of Soontir, and I'm willing to bet Soontir is doing a one forward. Uh, Interceptors this... don't have one forwards. Oh, they don't. They also don't have one bank. So Do they have one heart? Nope. Yes, it does. Oh, so maybe it's probably what he programmed into. Probably dialed in one heart here yep. so that he could slow roll soon to your foul. Yeah. Um, which is just clearly an incredibly practiced opening. You can imagine Robin sitting at home playing with his little toy spaceships, uh, trying to figure out exactly how to make this opening work. Uh, that he's uh, been doing over and over. Or he could just not do that. Or maybe not. What's he doing? Five forward, watch. No. Okay. Hard one? Hard oh, one. it does clear. But I guess it clears such that he's... Because of the front. decloak. Yep. I think he's okay with that. Whisper's going to decloak next round anyways and go all the way around it. Honestly, though, in this list, this is the thing. We're used to seeing Soonerfeld being a piece that everybody's really used to protecting and taking care of. In this list, he's the cheapest ship he's got. Mm-hmm. And I mean, yeah, he's a PS6 and something that can threaten Vader pretty well, but I, f- I feel like your real stress and the real fear for Bohan is going to be the double jukes coming out of the Phantoms, personally. Because they're going to have... Those fo- free evades. Evade focus yep. every single round. And the... Sorry, excuse me. The, um, the Those ships are going to be the biggest problem. Sunifel's going to have to work to get his juke off because if he takes the juke action, he's probably not going to have a focus unless you're giving him bullseye. Right, yeah. So he gets a free focus. If uh, what, Can you bring up Sunifel's card? It's, uh, uh, Sunifel's it's is, changed a bit yeah, since 1.0. Uh, so 1.0. whenever you have a ship in your bullseye arc, you can gain a free focus token. Yep. So at the start of the engagement phase, right? Yeah. So that's that's nice and simple. And then um, Afterburners gives them the booster barrel roll after any action they do. So it is a modified version of PTL, but they're the only ship that can boost into yeah. a barrel roll or barrel roll into a boost. Yep. Now, that, that bullseye arc ability is... Uh, pretty strong if you can get the bullseye mm-hmm. uh, which is difficult a lot of the time except against a big large base ship yeah right uh, it should actually be relatively easy for him to proc that and maybe uh, if he does it properly he could even proc that while pointing at the shuttle but have say his vader arcs on something else yeah absolutely and still use that focus token to attack vader yeah i feel like that will be a definite uh, a bonus to extending the longevity of sunerfell in this one We've seen a lot of uh, Guri over the past, um, or over the weekend, mm-hmm. and uh, Guri has a similar ability, which is much easier to trigger. You just have to be in range one. You mm-hmm. get, get a free focus. Or, um, and uh, soon tier is very similar, right? Like yeah. being able to get that free free mod is so important. Yeah. Um, Robin's gonna use Echo to bank right uh, down towards parallel with the board edge, and then he's gonna do a one bank with it. I bet you, and then he's gonna use. Um, Whispered also uh, uh, put her ship right and then um, push her forward. He's gonna, I think he's going to send everything that way. And so then probably another hard like one for, down along the board here. Yeah, and then That's another, really interesting because... Um, there's just no need for him to put Whisper into that open territory where yep. the shuttle and the, and the Star Wing want to go. Yeah, what's really interesting is how Bohan's kind of committed to one direction and now Robin is just turning the other way. Now, mind you, Bohan can still do a two bank and then a two straight slam, and he's also in a brand new position as well, and he can hard stop with the shuttle and and kind of see where Robin's going to go. I think this is definitely a bit of a a, a, you know chess boxing mind match right now. They're they're trying to feel each other out to see where they want this open engagement to happen. Mm -hmm. I think in my heart of hearts, Robin's happy to play in the rocks because he has. Very agile ships that are yep. very, very maneuverable, especially with those decloak actions. You yeah. you can point directly at a rock for that round's positioning, knowing that you can clear it at least one of three different ways potentially next round. It's going to be a lot harder for, say, the shuttle to avoid the rocks. That being said, um, uh, Robin doesn't have any blockers. Right. right? So uh, the shuttle will be able to go over the rocks or past the rocks easily enough. Except for the fact that a decloak action can be used to block. Oh, that's true. Yes, absolutely. That's um, the good thing about the high initiative... Uh, Phantoms. They still get that decloak. Um. Yep, so that's exactly the way I thought Robin's going to go. And I suspect we'll see a one bank from Echo. Yep, so uh, we're just decloaking to the board edge here. And what, something like one bank, two bank? Yeah. And then that's the same thing. And then Whisper yeah. might go two forward. And then Sooner Phil will probably do a hard one. This is the sort of thing where, um, despite the fact that his ships have moved, they have not moved much so i love my <laughs> i love me some phantoms just tokyo drift all around your corner of the board it's a really weird it's a really weird position mm-hmm. uh, the fact that he really just hasn't left that corner he mm-hmm. hasn't gotten away from range three of the corner basically um just doing all sorts of weird twisty decloaks and so on um which is good at the start it forces bohan to come to him yep um 
Make but sure he does eventually, three, he's going to have to move. He'll do a three-bank slam here, I think. Three-bank slam? I think so. I would, yeah. Or I, I'm wrong. Oh, maybe not. Yep. Yeah. He's really taking it slow with Bohan. Mm -hmm. There's that one bank. Oh, he did two. Two bank. Two. I'm willing to bet we will see a two or three straight from Whisper. Mm -hmm. One straight? Four straight? Four straight. Hmm. So then he's probably going to barrel roll her? No, he got the hard one with Sinnerfell, no problem. Got tons of space. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tons of space to do a hard one. Now, this is interesting, right? Because what's happened here is next round, um, Robin's entire list is pointing at Vader, basically, uh, who's kind of caught out in the open. Unless yeah. Bohan's going to take Vader and tuck him in behind the shuttles. Yep. Which that's exactly what he's going to do. He's not going to mess around. There's no need for him to force this or rush this. There's a lot of, there's a lot of wheeling going on here. Yeah, Eventually no, they are going to have to fight. <laughs> but it looks like no one player wants to commit and make the mistake. They yeah. want to take their time and make this engagement happen on their terms. It's... I mean, but they could do this all day. Mm -hmm. I think Robin's probably in the better position to do this all day. Um, his ships are the more agile ships. Um, now that's a hard three. two, hard three from uh, soon tier, yeah. which means... Um, uh, Suntir is um, about ready to commit, I think. <clears throat> yeah, uh, with Suntir doing that hard three, it looks like there won't be much more stalling from Robin's side of things. Uh, Vader's pointing in the wrong direction, right? Um, he might be able to swing around the rock and boost or something like that, but he's not facing Robin's ships. Uh, so Robin's probably going to zoom forward as fast as he can to get behind these guys. Uh, and uh, that's actually a pretty bad place for Bohan to be. Um, that being said, um, the Rose Squadron can turn around the rock and slam and target lock and do all sorts of fun stuff there um, with Vader following behind him. Mm -hmm. Jenden, <clears throat> it'll be nice if Jenden gets shots, but mostly he's there to just make sure that... Uh, well, to carry Sloan, but Sloan's not going to do much on this list. So really, it's just a point sink on Colonel Jenden right now. Strangely enough, uh, Bohan hasn't taken any target locks. Um, he's got Jenden's ability. You'd mm -hmm. figure he would take target locks early on in the game. He was thinking at the beginning of last round whether to do it or not. Yeah, he was, yeah, considering, he was it. considering it out loud. Um, but it sounds like uh, he hasn't actually done it. Um, I it's guess because it's to hard to decide who to target lock. And I don't think he wants to tip his hand too, too early. Because yeah. if you... Com sometimes with these like long-range scanners and stuff like that, these types of abilities, once you take your lock, you feel obligated to engage the said target. And that ship just runs away. Or... Might exactly yeah. that. It's exactly that. Because if he puts both those locks on Soonerfell, then okay, he'll just run them away, and then he'll come in with his Juke Phantoms. Now, with, with the Rose Squadron pilot, though, an advanced slam, you can move, slam, mm -hmm. do a red target lock, mm -hmm. and then still shoot because of OS-1 arsenal loadout. Mm -hmm. Um, so it's not like the row really needs that long range target lock, right? Vader could use it. Yeah. It's useful for Vader, not so much for the row. Um, I wonder if we see Bohan go with the three bank, three bank slam advanced target lock, um, and, uh, Whisper? No, I don't know where, just, just to maybe start to get, to get his row out there. All right. So, um, Echo does a decloak using the two bank forward. Mm -hmm. Um, which puts him in a crazy position. Mm -hmm. um, he's, she's the best. Yeah, uh, she's going to be swinging around that rock there. You'll probably see a hard um, three. Hard three next turn? I, no, a hard three for the reveal. That was just his decloak action. Yeah, yo, yeah. So uh, for the move, probably a hard three. I'm right? assuming. Um, and then he can uh, two bank her and then three straighter or something like that. Robin's flying this very, very wonderfully. <clears throat> now I'm wondering if he's going to split them up. So if he's going to bring Whisper on the inside of the rock and Echo on the outside of the rock, kind of um, widen them out. Sure. Um, but the one thing we've seen for sure with, with the definitiveness this weekend is that multiple... Um, there you go. Here comes Jenden's ability. Oh, think. yeah. Here come the target locks. Yeah. Um, the way Juke Phantoms are powerful, or uh, just Juke in general, especially in Imperialist, is multiple arcs on the same target with the with the juke just grinding down and just working down on your opponents i think what's happening here is uh, robin's just using the decloaks to just move very quickly mm -hmm. um he's probably going to next turn decloak with a two bank forward yep, again absolutely and then three bank or five uh, or um 
three bank or three hard the next turn. Mm -hmm. um, so, Whisper though is taking his sweet time going around here. I'm really surprised that Whisper didn't hard turn through the rocks. Um, I know he wants to bring them out from behind, but uh, eventually you've got to engage, and right now they're just kind of going in circles. <clears throat> well, the final salvo advantage is actually in Robin's uh, favor, so there's no real need for him to engage anywhere. Uh, that's true, right? The Rose Squadron has, what, two, yep. uh, two dice? But, I mean, that's not, that's not a fun match. Um, there's Sunterfell doing the five straight. Willing to bet he will boost. Actually, if he, if he does this carefully, a boost plus a barrel roll could get him bullseye on Vader. Mm-hmm. Shooting through the rock. Shooting through the rock. But he would have the juke active and no tokens on his Vader, just a force for defense. Yep. So what do we got going on here? I think Rob is just trying to talk through his options for what he wants yeah. to do for his actions. <clears throat> the problem with the boost barrel roll option is that it gets him... Uh, well ahead of the rest of his list. Mm -hmm. And then Sunterfell is caught out by himself. But, well, maybe here it is, right? Here's a boost. I think he just boosts. Yeah, so with the boost and an evade, he gets his juke. He right. can't get the... He can't do an evade. Oh, right. He can only link it to focus. Uh, he could have done the other way around. So it's, Sorry. it's yeah, any green token, and then he can do booster barrel roll, yeah. or he can do the boost into a barrel roll, or... Uh, you know, yeah, like, so he could have evaded and then done a... Yep. Uh, then done the boost. Yep. So and then he would have been stressed. Three shot. Yeah. Soon tier fell. First shot of the game. This is like five or six rounds into the game. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let's see how it goes. That is one, two, two hits. hits. And no evades, but Vader's going to spend two, two forces. Tokens. Absolutely, he's going to have to. He'll regen one, which is fine. He can not supernatural the next that round and be okay. Yep. <clears throat> I mean, that's going to be... Um, <laughs> That's going to be trouble for Vader, though, losing those Force Tokens, right? Um, I mean, if you keep punching into him, he's going to lose his access to his actions, right? Uh, and actually, that's something I've, I've really enjoyed about the design of 2.0 in terms of a lot of ships have this thing where um, uh, Force Abilities, for example, uh, if you get shot at a lot, you have to spend the Force Tokens to stay alive, and then you don't have them to power your ship anymore, right? Mm -hmm. um, uh, to power your various abilities. Um, even if they are regenerating, it means that turn you don't have them, right? Mm -hmm. Same thing with the Phantoms. You get a free evade, uh, but you don't get the free decloak unless you hold on to that free evade. So you're still rewarded for flying well. Yep. Uh, I think Vader should have... Uh, oh, wait, we're starting the new round, so Vader regens one. Yep. So, that, so now he's down to two. Yeah, exactly. And he can spend one token to get a free action. It's just straight up that, right? Yep. So, so he, he could do four actions in a turn if he want if he want to spend three tokens to do so. He, no, because he could su well, th yeah, he could supernatural reflexes for one. Yeah. And then he could do technically he could do the only max he could do would be three because he could supernatural reflex for say a barrel roll, uh -huh. and then he could link action that into a focus, mm -hmm. and then do a maneuver that clears his stress, yeah. and then spend a force token to do say a target lock. Oh, okay, but that's all he's got. And then he'd still potentially have one more focus. Is for he just out of, out of actions there? Is that all he has? That's he all he has. He can boost to take a damage with Supernatural. Yeah. Plus yes. Three so ones. theoretically, you could use all three tokens and get that, but you would never want to give yourself a damage. Right, because he's all he's got is focus, barrel roll, and target lock. Yep. Um, and then the linked actions. <clears throat> yeah, and uh, a, a linked barrel roll. Yeah. So, uh, so he could focus barrel roll... And but for the cost of two, that. at the cost of two focuses, oh, sorry, two force tokens, you can get a, you can do a five straight barrel roll, focus linked action. Like you could, you can get a, you can get your focus target lock on the first round. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so this is strange, right? Because he's in just pointing in the wrong direction. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll probably see a, um, we'll probably see a K turn or a Talon roll from Vader. D does Vader have Talon? Yeah. The tide vents gained the uh, three talons now. Three talons, right? So mm -hmm. actually, that's not a bad move here. A three talon roll uh, would have him pointing at where Sunter is, right? Uh, and Sunter would have to zoom forward to get out of arc and won't have a chance to get shot on Vader. Meanwhile, Vader might be able to shoot the phantoms wherever they show up, right? Hmm. That being said, the Jendon and the Rose Squadron pilot are just in the wrong place. Mm-hmm. Does the Starwing have a three hard? It does. It three does. banks, three hards, 
Ones, twos, and threes. Yeah. So can he? Hmm, do you think the three hard gets around that rock at the top there? No, he could do a three bank, or he could just chat. Somebody was saying the fate of Kane was saying two bank, two hard. Well, that was for the last turn. Yeah. Looks like he's doing just a two straight this turn. I think he's got a hard two this round. He's got a slam. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. He's got to get that guy turned around. Yeah, absolutely. And let's him do the hard two next turn. It's, it's a good position. Oh, that's true, Fate of Kane. If Suntir uh, two turns in towards where Vader would be, mm -hmm. if Vader did the Talon roll, mm -hmm. then, uh, yeah, he would be pretty exposed. So the question here is, with the tie advance, hmm, what do you do with Vader here? Supernatural reflexes, bear roll right, and then a hard two ship left. Yeah, yeah, that's a good option. Probably what I do. Yeah. Split them up and keep them to that focus and, and, and make Sunderfell come to you. Did Whisper not decloak? A note Whisper did not decloak. Interesting. Yeah. I guess that rocks in the way of where you wanted him to be. Yeah, and I think also where, where Echo was, there was no good yep. uh, decloak options. Maybe he's just being really coy and keeping Whisper back, knowing that's his best piece at 76 points. It feels like Honestly, Robin is cornering Bohan here. Whisper could potentially take down this whole list. It's just Vader would be a bit of a problem, but she's very, very strong, mm -hmm. especially with Vader crew. Now, how does the Vader crew work? Can we can we bring that one up? Uh, you yeah, choose one's... a ship at range one in your arc, and it can either take a damage or uh, strip its token, its green token. Take a take a damage or strip a green token. So yeah. in um, in 1.0, it was just take a damage, right? You damage yourself to do to deal the damage. Oh, and you don't damage yourself nope. uh, in this way. It's so good. Um, but you have to spend the force token. You spend the force token yeah. to do that, yes, which oh, is definitely worth it. Oh, we actually it. don't have that listed here. Whisper should have a force token listed next to the Good catch. Yeah. Uh, uh, there. Yeah, Vader's incredibly powerful at 12 points. And actually, that force token's great. A good little extra... Uh, yeah, in case you don't need it, it's a soft mod. So that way you can, focus, you can token stack the, the heck out of it. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah. So Suntir ran, interesting, mm -hmm. and so did Vader. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of running mm -hmm. in this game. These folks, I mean, it's been half an hour already, and mm -hmm. I think a single shot has happened. The problem, though, sometimes with all of the positioning and jostling and jockeying for engagements and changing that around is sometimes you spend so much time moving around the rock engagement that you end up unengaging out of the place that you wanted to be and being back into the place where you didn't want to be, and you can sometimes lose your moment. So that's that kind of that cat and mouse game. You have to be careful about playing that. Because mm -hmm. now I don't think Echo is going to... I don't think Echo banks in by herself and, and being left or exposed. I don't think so. I think she's going to... You'll see her hard. You'll see her two bank out, out towards Sunderfell. Is what I think. <sighs> I mean, they have to attack at some point. If this comes down to final salvo with no no points, I will be pretty angry. <laughs> I don't know about you guys. Mm -hmm. um, it'd, it'd be nice to see. Uh, I, well, I, I mean, don't I understand. I don't... It's an art. They're art dodgy lists. But eventually, you got to get in there. I right? mean, it's it, there's still forty five minutes left in the game. Yeah. There's zero reason to assume that they're not going to attack each other. <laughs> I mean. Uh, I don't know. They've just kind of circled around so far. Uh, well, so I mean, we'll it's, it's also top at a it's top table at a tournament. You want to try your best to. You're not just going to blazingly rush into an engagement that's not favorable to you when you only have yeah three ships. And I mean, as you were saying, Bohan's one of Bohan's ships doesn't even do that much damage. Well, there you go. A, that that decloak forward. Yeah. I'm willing to bet there's going to be a hard two coming from that phantom. Probably hard one left. Uh, one two left. Yeah. Yeah. And then uh, whisper three bank maybe. Peeling back, three bank? Maybe. Yeah. We'll see. Like Depends bank. how aggressive he wants to get. Yeah. He might just, if he continues to be coy, he might just do well, the one bank. Well, you figure he'd want to line up with his ships. Yeah. Right? I mean, with, with that speed on those those phantoms, yeah. I'm not sure why he's not diving in, right? Like, he could get to positions where the Vader and the Phantom, or the Rose Squadron, just can't, uh, can't run. Right? Yeah. Well, I mean, Vader can be pretty quick with the five straight and the barrel roll. Okay, here comes the Rose Squadron, so that's yep. actually an interesting sign. I kind of uh, like that. Was that a slam? Yeah. Yep. And he was coordinated the focus from... Oh, well, he did the hard three. Okay, I thought hard he might three. do the hard one, but yeah. hard three around the rock. No, it looks like he's going for it, so I'm willing to bet we're getting a three bank from or a three hard from yeah. the Phantom. Like, I tend to agree. The three hard makes even more sense to me now. Mm-hmm. 
Now, if he's smart, or if she did a four four K a four straight four straight. Okay, what's that? It's just funny. It's a big toilet bowl. Yeah, yeah. They're just kind of swirling around, yeah. swirling around. Yeah. Definitely some cautious play. Uh, I mean, uh, it's a bit of an understatement here. I was expecting maybe a three bank uh, from Whisper. Oh, at least we've got a barrel roll towards the fight. So um, I'm willing to bet next turn he's going to barrel roll Whisper towards the shuttle and then turn in, right? And just finally engage. Um, because at this point here, Vader's going to get kind of caught out, mm -hmm. right? Well, that row is off by itself, so... <laughs> the dock with the sh dock with the shuttle, Robin yells out loud. <laughs> I think what you're gonna see from the row is you'll see a three straight, three banks slam, and he'll pull target lock with the advanced slam on somebody, and try to get it out there. Uh, so that's a hard three from Suntier. Probably a boost to go with that. Yeah. Yeah. Good call. To catch up. Yeah, and just to kind of tidy up that positioning game. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, if you want to see how do you fly Imperial ships very, very beautifully. Watch this match because mm -hmm. Robin's doing an excellent job of positioning and moving and yeah. all that stuff. But then it's like, as you were saying, a toilet bowl. At some point, you're gonna gotta you're gonna I mean, have to dive in. Uh, I'm not saying it's not impressive. It's, no, I, I am impressed. Mm -hmm. But I would be more impressed if he was managing to avoid these arcs and still getting shots. Right. Mm. I mean, it, shuttle's got two arcs now though, so it's gonna be different. Yeah, it's true. Absolutely. I think um, we see it hard too though. Jenden. He's behind the shuttle now too, now, right? Uh, Vader. Vader's behind the shuttle now. Yeah. Right? Oh, uh, I mean, yeah, he's behind the... Well, he's not behind them. He's beside the, uh, uh, beside the shuttle. Shuttle's probably going to turn in next turn. Although, if, if shuttle two turns in this turn, um, that leaves room for the phantoms to get beside it yep. and shoot it out, uh, and dodge its arcs. Bohan can also be really crafty and do a hard to uh, ship left and then a hard to ship right slam. And then be sitting right there in that middle lane and potentially tag Whisper with a missile. Hmm. Lag Jansen, yeah, the sort of the the, the, the the noose is tightening for everybody. At some point, they're they're slowly circling around that. You know those things where you spin the uh, ball bearing around and eventually yeah, 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 centrifugal yeah, yeah. comes down. <laughs> it's coming down. It's gonna have to happen. I, I, I do kind of feel like uh, Robin wants to get in behind the shuttle. And just pick it apart with uh, with Echo, and we can keep flanking it from the side, staying out of its rear arc. It's only two dot. It's only two attack dice out of the rear, but you know what? Sometimes now, two dot attack dice is enough on a Phantom. Mm -hmm. It only has two evades. All right. I here's what I would do. I think with the shot with the row squadron, mm -hmm. uh, three straight, hard three. Right. Right. Yep. Come in at soon tier from behind. Yep. Right. Um, and tag him with uh, the proton torpedoes. Uh, unless he's zooming far ahead, you'd be able to get that shot. Or not even soon tier. Whisper. Right. You can get whisper from behind mm -hmm. uh, with the proton torpedoes. That would be a nasty hit, and it might be enough to strip his evades and prevent him from cloaking. You might probably see whisper decloak ship right, and then do a hard one. Mm hmm. And then I think you'll see Echo do the bank inwards ship right as well, so that she's facing 45 degree angle towards the shuttle. I think that's what you'll see happen. And then Robin might do a one bank there, and then it mm -hmm. gives Echo lots of options for that. Maintain that asteroid without having to overcommit to anything. But we'll see. We'll see what he does. He'll probably want to come around to do his own decloaks, I would imagine. So oh, uh, Open those. Boat suggests that as soon as the shuttle peels off the edge, Robin will start to go to work. The question is, is that shuttle going to peel off the edge? Bohan actually has no motivation to take the shuttle off the edge. He could actually keep going forward. Correct. Right? Mm -hmm. uh, and then bring Vader in the row. Okay, so there's the decloak you were expecting. Not that one, though. I, I definitely called the Echo one, but I oh, actually thought, see, that's what, I that's thought what he I might th bring Whisper out. But That's what I thought you were talking about with mm. Whisper. Uh, go in, and then, so hard two or hard three mm -hmm. towards the shuttle here. Mm. Oh, and there's the shuttle doing a one bank. Bad position, though, right? Because I think he wants to coordinate. Right? The shuttle has a coordinate, That's doesn't what he it? wants. He wants to coordinate. Yeah, That's what absolutely. he's pointing at. He wants to be able to coordinate that focus, focus so, that, token. Yep. so that the roll will have a focused target lock shot. Yeah. Uh, fate of Kane, the boat has to overcommit. You're saying he's got to get in there. Ooh, now, what did he, he do? He did a one forward. Just a one forward. Which is going to be enough for a one bank slam, probably in a target lock. Interesting. Because, hmm, 
Whisper's not going to be there anymore, though. No, but right? based on that decloak, I bet you she's doing a, a one or a three turn left. She's turning left. Yeah, oh, absolutely, she's turning left, which means the row is actually in the wrong position, right? This is why I thought a three forward... Yeah, one bank slam with advanced slam target yeah. lock. He's going to... Yep. Takes the target lock, but if Whisper's doing a hard three, he's dodged that arc. No problem. True. Right? True, Unless true, we true. use Jendon's ability to target lock who? Oh, he's already got the target lock, duh, from oh, Jendon's ability previously. On on Whisper. Yeah. Yes, that's right. Yeah. But again, Whisper's not going to be there, and... Uh, we'll see. If Robin mm. did the hard one. And Phantoms don't have boost, do they? Nope. They have no. barrel roll only. There we go. Okay, Robin's finally coming in. Um, we'll I like that, though. see if Vader though. decides to joust, or uh, if Vader... Ooh, if Vader, like, barrel rolls back a bit and then, like, does a one bank or something. There you go. Hard three. Hard three. There it is. Good call. Yeah. Going to avoid that arc. Yeah. Well, Bowen had to. Bowen had to. Yeah, if Bowen had done, like, a two forward and a hard two or something... That's actually what he did. Then he, No, he did a the, the one two forward bank. and one bank. It was a two bank, I saw. Yes, yeah, oh. so he did two forward, two bank. We missed it, so the oh, two... okay, okay. And the hard two probably would have put him on the rock. Yeah. But now he's perfectly positioned to but do... But a three forward, three bank, and he would have been... Um, Bump and whisper, I think. Uh, maybe, or facing wherever soon Tierfell's going to be. Mm -hmm. Isn't that a really awkward place to have a phantom? Where? Yes, that phantom is in actually whisper? a pretty awkward place, a whisper. Because he doesn't have actually much in the way of um, decloak possibilities. Yeah, she decloaks left. She'll be fine. Uh, no, decloaks left goes on to the rock. Nope. Yeah, it does. Mm, yeah, it I does. bet you it fits. Uh, no, no, no. It's a, two, it's a size two. Um, it's, you're right. Yeah. He doesn't fit. Mm -hmm. Oh, we'll see. Oh, yeah, because yeah, it's two, and then you put the ship down. You're right. Yeah. No, it's true. Decloak forward puts you on the other rock. Mm -hmm. Decloak right goes over the rock as well. Just so, choose not to decloak. So Whisper won't be decloaking this turn. Um, if What? She doesn't have to, to Vader crew damage. Doesn't have to, to Vader crew damage into people. Oh, right, yes. She could use Vader while cloaked. Yep. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Which is something I didn't think about. So, mm. yeah. Mm. Now here it goes. Okay. Yeah. So Robin was able to evade, boost with that off, uh, with auto thrusters, and pull the focus token off of Sunfell's ability. Yeah. So every and he uh, is able to be in bullseye arc. And yeah. He even managed to get bullseye on Vader, I yep. think, uh, which is fantastic. Yeah. Uh, so it looks like Vader is going to be shooting, Whisper. Whisper's range three. It's yeah. where his target lock is. Oh, right, that is... Just where checking for is. obstruction. I'm pretty sure it's unobstructed, but it depends on how... Mm, oh, that makes it look like a it's straight obstructed. Line. Oh, maybe it is obstructed. It is obstructed. Yeah, because they're they're almost parallel to each other. Ooh, that high is fire, triple crits. Triple crits. When, wow. in, when in doubt, just triple crit it out. Yeah. Two evades, so He's going to have to spend uh, the evade. Whisper oh, no, he'll eat. Yeah. Spends the evade token? Yeah, I guess he's, he's not planning on cloaking. He's not planning on decloaking next round anyways. Yeah. Yeah. TCAS so, PGA mm -hmm. saying that the shield upgrade on set of collision detector on Phantom is interesting and that Robin got the finals but he'd have gone you'd, you'd have gone with the collision detector a lot of people are talking about how collision detector is so good on Whisper I tend to agree yeah. but um, I, I tend to find her a bit more aggressive ooh mm -hmm. what's that that's also, should Sooner be, Fell just did two hits in a crit just to remind you TCAS Robin got to the finals but it wasn't with this list right uh, we should remind you that each of the players here um, has three different lists over the course of the tournament. Mm -hmm. And um, during the top cut, they've had to use each of their lists only once. Uh, so in the semifinal and quarterfinal, Robin did not use this list. He right. used a different one. But he did fly it twice during the tournament, though. During the Swiss, yeah. All right, looks like a lot of evading going on here. Mm -hmm. Some some cloaks some might have been spent. No. He spent the force for no damage. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, we still don't have the force icon on Whisper. I don't know if you guys can add it. I don't that. think you can put it on. Oh, okay. Because it's an upgrade card, yeah. so it's... Um, it's fine. Yeah, it's too complicated. Yeah, it's yeah, yeah, that's fair. That's all right. Um, so Vader's mm -hmm. depleted from his force ability. Basically, what I'll do is whenever I hear him say, I'm using Vader, I'll bring the card up. Yep, so yep, yep. Because, yeah. yeah. Sounds good. <clears throat> So there we go. So there's some action finally for those of you salivating for it at home. One shield down on Vader, but it cost him all of his force, which means no supernaturals at the beginning of. No well, yes, he could. Because I mean, he'll, he he'll get one back. Reflect, he'll but, gain one back. But he won't get that extra action, no. right? No. And that uh, goes in a wonderful okay. spot where she is right now. She could pursue the shuttle if she wants with the, with the two bank near that rock. Uh, I don't know if she wants to do that. She's probably just going to do a, a, a drift to ship right. 
and then one or two bank mm. in to kind of keep pressure up on the shuttle. The Rose Squadron's actually laughing where he is right now. Um, he can just turn and uh, fire away, right? A hard two, um, maybe a hard two and a boot and yep. a bank to go with it. Um, so it would have been interesting had Bohan tried to do something cheeky and do the the double hard two slams with that row. He would have been actually facing down Whisper right up the front and mm -hmm. probably would have been able to shoot a missile at her. He could have advanced proton torpedoed her. Yeah. So this has gotten really tight, and I think it's um, I don't know who it's looking bad for. Uh, Vader's the only one who's taken damage. Robin's got uh, TCAS. Uh, you're right uh, with a D cloak. Robin. Uh, Robin's Echo can get in some excellent spots here, mm -hmm. right? I would probably just decloak her two bank to the right, yep, uh, and then like hard one or hard two in, mm -hmm. and then let Vader and the shuttle just kind of move in front of her, mm -hmm. right? Uh, that's probably what I would do here. Soon tier is actually in a weird spot. He's probably gonna just go two forward. Yeah, two forward, clear the stress. Mm -hmm. um, it's more Whisper. Whisper is in the interesting situation right now, of being facing down the barrels of a bunch of ships. Do Phantoms have she one go? forwards? No, they right? do not. No, nope. we have one banks. One banks is, and they, that's all they got, and they gained that I think new in this edition. I could actually see that Whisper just doing a one bank. Yeah, just doing a one bank. Yeah, yep, yep, yep. yep. Cool. <clears throat> yeah, that's not a. That's not the worst choice. I mean, she could also hard three ship right, and then just de and then just cloak. And just peel out? Mm-hmm. I suppose, but, I mean, do you want to get these shots off or not, right? I mean, yeah, but he also might not want to put Whisper in a compromising position just to yeah. get a shot off because he's going to give exposure to three arcs that way. So, so I'm assuming um, Jendon's going to hard two, Vader's going to one bank, and then yeah. the, the row is going to hard two. Uh, John Ray Rainbow suggesting that Whisper needs to move, otherwise she gets the row in the back. That's true, mm -hmm. but if she, if she hard threes away from the row right now, she's actually setting herself up to get shot by the row. Right? She actually needs to go to her left such that the row has a harder time getting arc on her. Right? Because mm. if she goes to her right, the row just banks and has a shot, right? Um, with the torpedoes. That's assuming that he thinks to bank, though. <clears throat> well, he's not going straight. He's going to be turning in in I think some he's way. He's turning. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Whisper is less likely to eat the proton torp if she turns left. Right, then he eats. Then then she eats four dice from that uh, shuttle. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe. I would just one bank with her, right? Let Vader come in front of her, or even one straight, right? Face the rock. Who cares? Um, one straight, evade. Yeah, they can't and, one straight. Oh right, can't one straight. One bank and evade, mm -hmm. uh, and let Vader end up either in front of her. She'll have a shot either at Vader or at the shuttle. John Rainbow points out that uh, a three bank left with Whisper makes a lot of sense now because he, she might end up crashing into the shuttle and she also might block Vader and she'll also probably dodge the arc of the row. That is a good call. That is a good choice. And then sooner mm. Falcon go too forward because Echo won't be there. Yeah, yeah, she I definitely mean, she definitely is not going to enjoy where she ends up if she does the one bank. Yeah, I don't know. I think it's a three speed maneuver. Yeah, it's tricky. It depends on what the row's doing. The row's probably doing a hard two. TCAS, I'm fairly confident that the two forward puts Whisper on that rock. I don't think the two forward puts her in the, in the right spot of where she needs to be. Yeah, yeah, two forward puts her on the rock for sure. All right. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, that's a good choice. I can yeah, see, that. see, this is what I was thinking. I was thinking going the other way, actually, but this one works. Yep, then you'll uh, hard two. We bank... Uh, Just YOLO four forward over the rock. Yeah, you could try that, too. That's in bold strategy, Cotton. <laughs> <laughs> this is where people are going to say, she see, if you had, if you had, she doesn't need to attack thingy. to use to use Vader's ability. That's true, and this right? is where and also this is where people are saying that collision detector is so good on Whisper because there's oftentimes where your Phantom gets put in this kind of a position where yep. you're like, I don't know where I go, and this is where with collision detector you would just force straight <clears throat> over top of it, yep. ignore it, and cloak. Yep, yep, yep. So, yeah, the four forward is actually a really good idea. And now I'm starting to see why people like the collision detector on the Phantoms. Yep. Okay, so there's that hard two. Mm -hmm. Now the question is, does he slam? Probably not. Right? No, I think you just focus. Yeah, I would just focus there. It's a wide net you've cast, and it's also good positioning for next turn. Unless Whisper's going straight into the shuttle, um, row the row has a shot at mm -hmm. Whisper, 
right? So that is actually a really good place to mm -hmm. be. It also lets him threaten Jinderfell next round. Mm -hmm. It's a great place for that row. The row is finally poised to stri strike in the next round or two. Is he slamming? Yeah, he's, he looks like he's slamming too hard to the left. Interesting. Why? Why? Hmm. He's blocking the one bank. Interesting. I don't... Hmm. That is a really odd choice. I, I see that he's blocking no, I think, the one bank. I think oh, he's hoping that he's hoping that Whisper is deciding to bank in yep. front of him. Yeah, he's banking the. Th he's calling the three bank or the hard three left. I think Bohan is guessing that's where he's going. Yeah, that's a really strange choice. No, I agree. he's he's fishing for advanced proton torpedo. No, I mean I, I get what he's fishing for, but the chances of, um, the chances that Whisper is actually doing that three bank is slim. I hope I hope Whisper's doing the four forward. That would be great. Um, no, so hard it, one from or hard three yep. from uh, Echo. Yep, focus probably uh, or a barrel roll tight to get tighter, but probably a focus. I, I would just think. focus and let Vader kind of walk into it. Yeah. Um, if Soontir's doing the two straight, uh, Vader's not going to be able to barrel roll out of uh, uh, Echo's arc. Soontir might also go four forward as well. We've got yeah. a range one shot on the on the shuttle. There you go, and that's exactly. Oh, what, he did the three bank. That's ex about that? exactly what Bohan was fishing for. Oof. That is bad news. Yep, and that's and that's what he was going for with yeah. that. That's also why he's a former national champion. Yep, yeah. I think that that four forward would have been a great idea, but. Um, I mean, I don't know. I mean, I feel like generally as a as a phantom player, you're not going to go out of your way to put yeah. yourself onto rocks, especially without collision detection. So does he evade as his action? No, he barrel rolls. He has to. He definitely has to barrel roll. Ooh, does it get him out of the Rose Arc? I'm not sure about getting out of the Rose Arc. Um, but it does get him out of the Shuttle's Arc, of course. Mm -hmm. And into a blocking position with Vader. Well, supernatural oh. reflexes, he can't block him. I don't know if that's true, though, because he's he's running out of places to barrel roll, right? Um, he might not be able to barrel roll towards Echo. Uh, <clears throat> if Bohan put in a one bank with this Vader, is going to put a hurt on his Whisper this round. So here's supernatural reflexes. Oh, so it does fit. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then the one bank will give him, and then he can. Uh, a one a straight. One straight. Interesting. He's gonna block sooner fell, but he gets a range one shot from Echo. Yeah, Echo's got that perfect shot on Vader, who has no force tokens. Mm -hmm. Just the just the focus. Yeah. Wait, where do you get the focus from? Did he spend a force he just got now? Coordinated by Jenden. Oh, earlier. The only problem is, though, even if he does block Soonerfell, he doesn't really gain anything from that. Yeah. Uh, it doesn't look like Vader's going to have a shot this turn. So it's just Echo into Vader, which could be... Um, which could hurt. It's hard to see if Vader actually has a shot on Whisper. I'm, I'm willing to bet he doesn't. He doesn't, no. And I think Bohan was trying to protect And is his... that a bump, or does Soonerfell fit? I think he bumps. Oh. Yeah. No, that is a fit. Yeah. Uh, wait, maybe not. Yeah, it looks like an evade, evade token. Evade yeah. Oh, he so did he evade. Fits. He gets a free focus. Ooh, Ooh that's a dead Vader. Right? Potentially, yeah. That's I mean, really Vader can shoot Soontir. Soontir shoots back no matter what mm -hmm. uh, with Juke, right? And then Echo finishes that off. Mm -hmm. uh, so the Vader is using... Um, Vader on Jendon. Vader on Jendon to so do one damage? One shield, yep. And then Vader just got her one attack dice from his, uh, from his range one shot on Soonerfell. Soon Tierfell could have barrel rolled right, but um, yeah, actually, it doesn't look like there's room because of Echo there in the way. I also think Robin wanted to have the um, focus token that he's now going to yeah, use yeah. for three damage, and then Juke. The focus, the focus is worth he'll, not. He'll um, Juke one of those with his Juke ability, then he'll have to spend the focus token to take zero, da take one damage. So Vader's probably down one more shield. Yeah. So is Vader spending his focus? I imagine he would have. All right, one shield down on Vader. Let's remember. Did that focus token get spent? He would have had to have. Um, because that focus token should not be there if... Because he didn't have any force tokens, as far as I know. I don't think he forgot Juke. He didn't forget Brute Juke. He does not have an evade token. Who who doesn't? Whisper did not have an evade token. No, no, token. no. With 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 uh, Uh, he did use Juke. 
And so then, that's Whisper into the shuttle. Yeah. Shuttle takes... No, that's... Um, no, that's... Oh, echo. is that Echo? That's into Echo into, into Vader. Yeah, that's Echo into Vader. Vader only has two agility, is that right? Nope, three. Three. Oh, the advance has three agility. Mm -hmm. Is that new? Was nope, it always, always at it three. It was always three, wasn't it? Yep. Yes, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's two attack that they have. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <clears throat> no, it sounds like Soontir didn't make him spend the focus token uh, for whatever reason. Um, I'm not sure what we missed. Yeah. Um, but uh, something happened that... Um, Interesting, okay. Maybe there was a force we missed or something like that? I don't know. Yeah. Maybe they just forgot to clear it off yeah, or just something. Asked the table judge just said he should, he should still have the focus and he okay. only took one shield. Interesting. Okay. <laughs> maybe um, maybe Soontir didn't spend the focus on his attack. No, it was more about it was more confused with with Vader. Wait, why? Why? I'm pretty sure Soontir did use Juke. Um, he did use Juke. Yes. Yeah, in that situation. So I'm just wondering why Vader didn't have uh, to use the focus to only take one damage. Yeah, why didn't Vader use the focus? I guess he wanted it for his attack? I don't know. Very strange. But, but then he should have taken two, is the point I'm trying to make. The only way he takes only one is if he uses the focus token. I mean, maybe we missed something. With this I don't game. know. It's table fine. judge table judge has got yeah, it. It's all good. Like four people watching yeah. the game right now. Yeah, so yeah. exactly. <laughs> they must have, we must have missed something there. Yeah. yeah. It's fine. Uh... There's only so much we can... Yeah, Paul Hader's going to have to call a judge. Yeah, there's nothing no, I'm we, pretty, I'm there's pretty nothing sure we That's could. okay, he doesn't have anyone's phone number at the table. <laughs> we, we will trust the people at the table. Uh, there's only... Um, uh, only... Uh, you know, we, we, we can only see what we can see from here. We aren't privy to the whole discussion mm -hmm. uh, at the table, so it's fine. Yeah. As we said, there's four or five people, different people around the table watching. Yep. I'm sure we're fine. Everything's fine. Mm-hmm. Okay, so new round. What do you do? Uh, I would one bank with the row towards the shuttle. Mm. Just let everything come in front of me. One bank ship, right? Yeah. Oh, where's where, where's Robin D cloaking this? So Echo is definitely going to do the same type of oh, bank. Sorry, um, She'll do the curved bank ship, right? Mm -hmm. Actually, no. What he's going to do is he should bank out with Echo ship left and then hard one hooker behind uh, Soonerfell. That would be spicy because then you'd also be probably Ship potentially left. yeah, banker this way. Oh, echo that way. Yeah, ba yeah banker. Yeah, yeah. That's what and I would keep try. Her Actually, if you bank her that way, mm -hmm. you could then two bank forward towards mm -hmm. right and be behind the row. Mm -hmm. Right. Absolutely. Um, although, if you want to keep hold of Vader, you could also bank towards the um, inside. Yeah, uh, inside to her ship right. Well, um, yeah, uh, ship right, and then hard even hard one, forward or, or or even back, right, right and back, and then hard hard one, yeah, uh, so that you're behind Vader, That's, wherever Vader ends up. She has so many options. That's why I love her, but she's very difficult to describe your calls to to stream because it's like you can flip the two bank on, uh, on yeah, two different yeah. directions. So she has so, so many you're, permutations. You're going either right and forward or right and back. Yeah, um, but you can also go forward and yep. then right or left. Yep. Uh, so it's a it's a lot of options yep. for her. Absolutely. <clears throat> And she is cloaked, I believe. Yep. Yep. As yeah. is the shuttle. Whisper is also cloaked. Because whenever Whisper yep. does damage, she gets an evade token. She did one damage on the shuttle, so she was able to pull the evade from there. Echo left and... In? In, out. So back or forward is the question. That's the better way to describe it. Um, ship left, left and back? Ship left and out. Yeah, that's what I think too. I'm thinking left and back. Yeah, and then following... And then in towards the row, right? Mm-hmm. Um, but I mean, right is also a good option, right? Mm -hmm. You could go right and then and then turn down towards uh, behind Vader. Right and in is also a good choice. Yeah, they're both really good choices. That's if why I love flying. Finish, if you want to finish off Vader, that's probably the way to do it. I really do think that's what he wants to do, right? Yeah. He, whatever chance he can, whatever pressure he can keep on Vader, now is the time because he's been able to do that. On the I think oak. we're gonna see a hard two. No, wait. They sloop, don't they? Um, interceptors. Interceptors. Now. They do have sloops now. Oh, yeah, three speed do, sloops. Do, do you sloop with the with the interceptor, or do you hard two to where Whisper is now? That's the thing. If Bohan thinks that's coming, he might Again, hard two uh, with the row and then target lock Sunerfell. So T Cast, you're gonna have to be more specific. Uh, do you mean left and back, or left and right and forward, or uh, what do you mean by in and out? You got to use forward or back because that's the only easy way to describe it. Um, ship left or ship right? Ship yeah. left. 
Port or starboard? <laughs> port I don't know which one's which. Port is port right is or left? left? Port is left. Starboard is right? Yes, starboard is right. Because, left uh, and out to try and follow Vader. Yeah. Or mm-hmm. right and in to try to cut off the row. Follow Vader, try and kill him? That row is in not a great spot. Um, I don't think. I don't know. If it hard twos to the right and then it can target lock somebody and potentially get a... Um, a block? I don't know. A block could also get a... Uh, or even if it was, you were saying earlier, the one mm. bank, it still has to target lock on Whisper. Yeah, so yeah, yeah that one bank... Mm-hmm. Right. So right and forward, uh, with with echo is what people are suggesting. Um, yeah, that'd be fine, right? Right and forward, and then you can just one bank or whatever, uh, and be right behind uh, Vader and the shuttle and the row. Mm-hmm. Um, you've got a lot of good options there. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Maybe we should have done a two-hour match. <laughs> <laughs> No, well, we, would, we, would, we would have had another 20 minutes of toilet bowling. Yeah, probably, probably. <laughs> oh, well, you know, Robin's got half points on Vader, so he's on the board. Ooh, port and left are both four, four letters. Oh, uh, thanks, Death, Darth Revan, 1979. That's a good way to remember that now. The way I always port and left. taught it, I think it's called starboard because the north star was to your right when you are going west, like leaving Europe. Oh, right. okay. Um, if you're leaving Europe, the North Star is to your right. Uh, so that is starboard, right? Oh. Uh, when you're traveling west on the Atlantic. Yeah, right. exactly. When you're traveling west on the Atlantic. Um, and so that was my understanding. Anyways. So you always, kept the, you always kept the North Star to your right. A little bit of nautical trivia here go. in the PTL Open. So uh, she is going forward, which means a hard one or a hard oh, two is coming. interesting. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's actually surprising because you are... Um, Uh, you are, oh, he's decloaking them both forward. Okay, turn. But putting themselves right in the shuttle's arc, mm-hmm. right? Because I have a feeling the shuttle's going to one bank um, to its right, mm-hmm. our left, right? So it avoids the rock. Uh, and uh, and see, so, okay, so one straight from the row. Mm-hmm. Uh, and the, the um, phantoms are just walking right into that arc. Right? They're not getting out of that. Mm-hmm. <clears> hmm <throat> Hard one. Hard focus one. Focus token. That makes sense. Uh, an evade, you mean? Oh, uh, he'll take the focus. He got the evade from the decloak. Oh, right. Yes, that's, of course. Hard yeah. one, focus. Whisper doing a... What's the what's shuttle's got to go. I think Jendon stopped. Yeah, oh, Jendon stopped. Yep. Which means... Uh, yeah, I don't know what he was doing with, with those phantoms. So she's definitely getting proton torpedoed. Yep, absolutely. Unless he barrel rolls farther out. But even then, I think that's still still in range three. three. I think so. Um, That was... This is, I think, in a very unfortunate round for Robin. Mm, Remains to be seen, though. He might get out of it. We'll see. Maybe there's a trick we don't know about yet. I don't don't know. I mean, he can barrel roll. That's what what he's going to do. Hoping to get to range three, but I think he's still in. Yeah. He might have avoided the rear arc of the shuttle. I think that's exactly Um, what he's going for at this point. But but that torpedo is going to... Rock him right four dice against your two, mm-hmm. right? No range bonus on the torpedo. Mm-hmm. Um, the stall was a great call on Bohan there, yeah, absolutely. And then uh, so Vader's got, supernatural reflexing doing that again. So he's mm-hmm. still out of force tokens and a one forward again. So mm-hmm. Vader's just avoiding the fight, mm-hmm. um, which means uh, I'm willing to bet soon to fell doing just a two bank hard two maybe or two bank yeah two bank or a hard two to slam into the side of that shuttle and put some yep. more damage into it two bank and just get the shuttle down to half yep. right uh, is that what we've got going on here two yep. bank there two it is bank, yeah and he'll be able he can take the evade token he gets a evade he gets a free focus because of the bullseye arc yep doesn't and, need to push for anything so he's fine and uh, the shuttle has no tokens yep so those jukes are going to be really powerful here yep that shuttle is going down to half points this turn. Yeah, because Echo and Sunderfell have the shot on it. Uh, barring barring some really bad rolls, I think he's going to get... Um, well, there's four dice from Suntir. There's four damage. Uh, that is five hits, yeah. or three hits, that is. Yep. Um, so three damage into Colonel Jendon. Mm-hmm. Four damage. Yeah. Uh, why four? Because he uh, rolled a focus. On his defense roll. Oh, right, Juke. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yep. Sorry. And then Juke, yep. exactly. What am I yeah, there we go. Um, cool. So, three hits from Echo? Yep. Uh, 
And with Juke, he's guaranteed to get hit. He has no focus, so he auto takes that damage. That's another three hits. That's yep. Jendon down to half points. Yep, that's what uh, Phantoms do. They're... This is exactly what he needed. Does he still get it? It looks, looks like, like uh, Jendon does have rear arc. Yeah, it looks like Jendon has rear arc on um, Whisper. That's one crit. crit. Or does he not? Judge is measuring it, and no, Judge looks said like it is. he does. And Ooh, Ooh. he's got to spend that evade. Yeah, spend that evade. And if he spends the evade, he... no, take it. Take the shield. Yeah. yeah, use the evade to cloak. Well, he still has to have to take a torpedo. Yep, absolutely. Um, so did did Whisper lose a shield? He did, yeah, yeah. took one shield okay. off. So Whisper lost a shield. Mm -hmm. Which was on the shield upgrade, so he's fine there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, no, take the shield and save it for this. Proton torpedo. Proton torps, spending the target lock. Yep. This is going to be... No, Three, two hits. Not what Oof. he needed. Bohan needed it better than that. Poor Hit guy. Crit. Well, and he had a you focus never, you too. You never know. Whisper could blank out. And One take, evade. And now you know spend what? the evade takes zero damage. No, take the shield again. Use the evade to cloak. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. That way you can get Whisper into a wild position. Right? Yeah. In, 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 this, in this place, you want to be able to bring Whisper back. Right? Yeah. So yeah. So he took, uh, he took the shield again. That was a heartbreaking attack round for Bohan. He really yeah. was expecting to get more than two hits off of a Proton Torpedo. Yeah, I was actually really worried that about was Robin's position here. but uh, Literally out... literally the worst he could have rolled. Yeah, yeah. Well, not literally the worst. He could have <laughs> rolled four blanks four times. But, but you terrible. know what I mean, pretty much. <laughs> Unfortunately. Yeah. To only get two damage on her, yeah. that's that's tough. And it's a shame. Uh, I, I, I wish he had actually moved the shuttle instead of stopping, right? Because the stop didn't help him here. If he had one banked with the shuttle, he would have had shots on... But he would have blocked his row. Mm, oh, no, he could have flown it no, into no, it, no. you're saying. Yeah, no, no, no. The, the row would have had space. Yeah, yeah, the shuttle would be down would here beside first. the rock. He also would have moved first anyways. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <clears throat> Four straight from Echo next turn? Interesting. Uh, says Fate of Cain. I don't know. Hmm, I don't know. I think Vader's in a bad spot. Um... This is part of the problem when you spend too much time trying to avoid shots. Yeah. Is you aren't doing damage. Damage is what you need to get points and mm -hmm. win the game. Uh, <clears throat> well, Rob is currently winning. He's going to be able to take the shuttle down the next round anyways. Whisper will two cloak forward. <clears throat> then she'll probably hard three or hard two. Uh, Whisper can't decloak forward Shoot. because the shuttle's in the way. Whisper uh, can totally decloak forward. Oh, sorry, Whisper. Um, Echo can't. Uh, but Echo's, Echo's going to bank that way. Yeah, Echo's just going to... Just go two forward. Um bank uh decloak right and forward yeah right and in and then she'll one forward. bank probably <laughs> forward sorry yes uh right and forward right yeah. and uh whisper yeah gonna go forward and then hard two around the rock mm -hmm. right uh wherever the shuttle ends up is gonna be in whisper's arc and that's gonna be bad news for bohan mm -hmm. <clears throat> and sooner fell is the only thing is he's gonna have to figure out what he's doing he's probably gonna hard two left i don't know this Seems Isakar like Bohan saying, tried too hard not to lose. And, and, then, and, and that's the thing, right? Like, Vader should have had a shot last turn, right? The fact that Vader is um, still kind of running is uh, really unfortunate, right? Like, mm -hmm. why is Vader not, not behind Suntir in some way, right? Or, or in a blocking position so Suntir would run into him and block him, right? Um, that one straight on Vader there, I get it. Like, you're trying to, you're trying to keep Vader safe, but... If you play too safe, you're never going to get those shots. You're right. Yeah, that's a good choice, Fate of Kane. You could totally do that with Echo too. She could. Oh, she could bank uh, left, left and, and back. Out. Yeah, left and back, and then chase Vader down. Yep, left and back in a in a straight. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's right. Vader did have the straight only crit, and I don't think I don't recall if we actually had that listed. It was, and we flipped it down when they did the yeah, maneuver. Yeah, okay, and he and he repaired it. Um, Good call, open boats. Uh, so um, Vader did have the straight only uh, crit, uh, which is really unfortunate. Uh, then, uh, <clears throat> and in which case uh, that meant that means Robin uh, took full advantage of it, knowing that uh, Vader wasn't going to be in in his way. So Vader this turn probably hard twos, mm -hmm. uh, hard two, hard three. Gets back in the fight. Uh, gets back in the fight. Um, can no can't boost, but hard two barrel roll. Um, the shuttle, which way do you take the shuttle? Do you take them left or right? I don't think it really matters at this point. The shuttle's kind of screwed. Yeah, the shuttle's kind of screwed. So is the gunboat. There's not really much it can do. Well, the gunboat's at full health. Um, it's not that. It's about the positioning, like what it can do now. Like, where, what can it go? It can go three forward. Mm. And it barely, I don't even think it clears with the three forward. Oh, that's a good point. Uh, Vader crew on Whisper can kill the shuttle outright. 
Yeah. As long as the shuttle has no token, right? Yeah, exactly. So um, he's going to need to one bank, I think, and take a focus token. Just to protect itself. Just to protect itself from Vader. But then Echo here, wherever Echo ends up, mm -hmm. finishes it off, mm -hmm. right? And the row's going to walk right into Echo's line of fire, too. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> now, what do you think? Uh, too straight decloak on Whisper? Oh, yeah, I think so. I mean, the two ship right is a bit iffy. He might uh -huh. do it, though. If Whisper is the only one that has any damage on her if he's if he's super now if you, apprehensive. If you fail your decloak because you misjudge it, do you, you stay cloaked or do you, you get to choose? You do the other two options. You oh, have you, to, you, you do, do it till you succeed. Oh, so you do, and so it doesn't count as a failed thing. No, yeah. no. You, it's like it's like with the boost action. If you decide to do the bank boost, but you can't do that, but you can't no, that's the a forward. Failed. Nope, that's a failed in in two, second edition. Oh, so you yeah. have, might actually be right then. You might just fail the decloak and be stuck yeah. decloaking. So just a one forward from the shuttle, yeah. clear the stress, bump into the row. That means he has no tokens. If Whisper can get close enough, um, he's dead. Yeah. Uh, I think he was trying to make room for the row so that the row could get a target lock. Ah, so, okay. So uh, Death Revived oh, suggests that if you fail the decloak because you misjudge, you stay you bump cloaked. into something, okay. you stay cloaked. So if you can't do the, yeah. the way that you've said you're going to go, you don't go. Now, does he clear his Ooh, ship three straight from the looks like he might yeah, yeah he does absolutely so three straight from the row rose facing whisper or echo head on thanks for all the uh update chat i didn't realize that that's a new way the cloak works i i almost never failed the cloak before so that's why yeah i can't think of uh yeah you, but it's you, good to know that's a thing <clears throat> hmm. rebel diplomat says we keep, keep losing, losing audio. audio is everyone else having, having trouble with the audio uh, if you are, do let us know in chat, and we'll try our best to fix it. I might just be talking too quietly. <clears throat> Everyone else seems to have every problem. Per uh, no problem, that is. Okay, uh, cool. Perfect. All right, thanks. Uh, um, for the folk there who was suggesting they were failing the audio, maybe try rebooting your browser. Um, or checking your internet connection. You might have be you tried turning out. it off and on again? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, <laughs> So that's a nice block on Echo. Yeah, a block on Echo, but who cares, right? Yeah. Echo's just going to plow four dice into the shuttle. Yeah. Shuttle's dead. Potentially. Um, Soon Tier Fell is going to... Ooh, I wonder if Soon Tier Fell is going to run into the shuttle. If he hard won, he won't. Do, do, oh, was do. that not a block? Soon Tier Fell. I guess it wasn't a block. Oh, it wasn't a block. Okay. Beauty. So, why the barrel roll? Mm. Was he in... No, he must have been in the arc. It's because of where Soonerfell is uh, going, I bet you. Yeah. So if Soonerfell is doing a one forward, you could self-block here. There's can't, the hard one. It, you can't one forward. Uh, two forward. Or, uh, yeah. I, I mean, um, a, a two forward would get blocked by... Um, um, I'm thinking Soonerfell might be doing a three bank, which is why Robin Barrow rolled out so Soonerfell doesn't get blocked. Mm. And left tokenless. Yeah, I definitely made that make sense from Echo. A uh, whisper, too, that one, that maneuver. But if you can just, like, one forward into that slot there... Mm-hmm. Um, then uh, he would get you know what actually yeah self bump isn't actually a problem because you'll get the focus token anyways from yeah, exactly. you, get the, you get the free focus token for bullseye arc mm -hmm. but then <laughs> then you have to PS kill the shuttle because then it's uh, so what is that that looks like a one bank or a hard one yeah. hard mm -hmm. one that is <clears throat> uh, so Sunterfell was going to try and get Vader so here's what I would do I'm mm -hmm. in Vader's arc right now and I mm -hmm. don't have shots on him barrel roll mm -hmm. I'm going to be facing the rock next turn but sure I don't care. Right? Mm. Although, juke. Hmm. I don't know about that juke. Or that uh, that evade. Well, I think he wants to use his juke. Yeah. <laughs> Smart. Yeah, he's Didn't just using he... Vader. We oh, just he used Vader's Vader. ability. Yeah. Yeah. Vader's ability is 1 to 2, yeah. right? Uh, or 0 to 2? 0 to 2. Oh, that's such a good range. It's incredibly powerful. Yeah, that's really good. It's really, really good. Mm hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, good call. Uh, Cry we're Omed. Uh, Echo did the barrel roll to get the shot on Vader, or at least cover that bank. Yeah, that, uh, what I'm surprised is that Soon Tier didn't do a barrel roll to get the shot on Vader. Mm. I would have, I would have barrel roll to get the shot on Vader, even though I meant going over the rock next turn. Mm -hmm. so get the shot is... now, and who cares, right? Like yeah. if Vader's dead, uh, I don't care if I go over the rock. So next one crit, turn. one crit through and Sooner fell. Blinded pilot. Not the Oof. biggest of deals. It's a big deal, but. I mean, yeah, out of, no, no shot back. Yeah. I, I definitely would have taken that barrel roll. Silly though. 
Uh, we've got Echo taking a shot, obstructed range at Vader. Three, range three through the rock, but she does have Juke active. And that is... Double hit. Two hits, and Vader rolls... Not enough. Nothing. He's got um, no tokens, So right? one force. Oh, he spends his force token? Yeah. yeah. So, so he still takes one? Yeah. Yeah, still takes one. Vader's down to one Hulk. Yep. Bohan's not getting uh, good evade results on his uh, dice. No, right? no, he's had some really unfortunate. Well, he's blanked out twice with with uh, Darth Vader. Yeah, and he just hasn't. He's gotten a total of one shot with that row, which is really unfortunate. Well, that's the problem with rows, though. They, you know, what I mean, you got to... It's all about per approach, and once yeah. you miss it, yeah, you miss I think it. I think you missed. I think you missed some opportunities, unfortunately. Um, but uh, so <clears throat> we just want to kill Vader this turn, right? That's that's the goal of the final round. Kill well, Vader. I mean, at this point, it doesn't really matter. It's yeah, a, he's got ninety nine points with four minutes left in the game. So, yeah, and he's not getting half. Well, I mean, it's possible he could get half points on Whisper and Sunterfeld, but that's still not ninety nine points. No. Um, so <clears throat> that means there's very little chance that um, uh, very little chance that Bohan could uh, win this. Correct. Right. Um, <clears throat> Still, you want to go for maximum points. You want to kill Vader, right? That's your, that's your goal here. Um, T Cass, yeah, the two hard slam with the row like two turns ago was the big mistake. I think that's the one of the turning points. Bohan's gonna say that. Yeah. Had he not done that, he probably would have had uh, a shot on Whisper there as well. And yeah, then also, yeah. also though, let's be real though too. He did have a proton torp shot on Whisper, and he got two damage. Uh, I mean, yeah, absolutely. You only that got was two hits, beyond. Uh, that was below optimal. Yeah, it was below average even. That sucked. Yeah, but um, but still, there was that turn where he too hard slammed when he really did not need to, mm. uh, and um, that ended up just um, putting him in a bad spot for the next few turns. I think Rob. he probably thought uh, Bohan probably thought that he that Robin couldn't have barrel rolled out of the advanced proton torpedo range. Mm -hmm. So, I agreed. Yeah, Mike Beard, blinded pilot does not uh, blinded pilot just keeps you from modding your own dice with focus. You can, however, still use Juke. Right. Um, yeah, and that's a great thing about Juke. Um, uh, one of the great. One of the things. many great things about Juke. <laughs> I mean, it's a good card. It's it is a very good, good card. card. Yeah, and we um, will, we will continue to see it for mm -hmm, a long mm -hmm. time. It's like the only. Well, no, I mean, no. Crack shots really good. I still think for one point. Trick shots really good for one point. Juke is how much? Four. Four. Currently. Uh, currently. Currently. Uh, it'll probably stay there. Um, I bet you it goes to six. Yeah, you think it's as good as Minimum. Out maneuver? Minimum. Or do you think out maneuver needs to be worth more as well? No, Outmaneuver's only good on Gurry, really. No. Juke's good on every uh, single one. Outmaneuver's good on any Arc Dodger. Right? Maybe. Uh, Maybe. I certainly think Juke is as good as Outmaneuver. Maybe even better. Ah, uh, so Echo here decloaks yep, to love it. the left and, and she back. Hard, and she hard ones right. Uh, and she's going to hard yeah, one chip hard one, left. Yep. So that Vader walks into her arc. Yep. Uh, Whisper here is probably going to one bank. So again, Vader has no way to get away from her arc. Yep. The row is just running. You got it. <clears throat> well, trying to get position. Maybe take a target lock with an advanced slam. I don't really know. TCAS, I think it's a it's a bit of both. I think you're going to see Juke go up to at least six, maybe eight, and you'll definitely see Phantoms go up a little bit. You you won't be able to fly four of them with Juke in the list, I don't mm. think, come January. Can you, can you do that now? You four can fit four, four with Juke is 50 points each. Oh, yeah. So you might even just a one-point increase on the something, Phantoms something like prevents that. that. Something like that's going to happen yeah. for sure. Yeah. And there it is. I mean, as a guy as a guy who predominantly flies Juke Phantoms and Juke Defenders, I, I hope I it doesn't go I think he up. went too far forward with, with uh, Echo. Um, he should have only done like a one bank or one straight. I thought I a hard one was coming. Yeah, that, that, that was definitely too far. But Vader walks right into Kill Whisper's box. arc. That being said, this was a perfect move uh, for Vader because Vader can just barrel roll out, right? Or target lock and then try to kill, try to kill Whisper. Do you think you can do four damage to Whisper at range one? With, when throw four dice, one crit? No, probably not. <laughs> no, uh, you, throw, you <laughs> no. only throw three no, dice. No, you're right. Right? Yeah. The three dice, one of which becomes a crit. You don't add it. No, one. you add it. So it's. You add one. So uh, advanced targeting computer, if he were to target lock her, yeah. adds it a die. And then range one adds a die. So but Vader would throw four spend. dice. Oh, okay. And then he has FCS. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, right. Whisper still has Vader, yeah. right? Um which means, um, so since Whisper still has Vader, yeah. uh, Bohan's Vader wants to get out of there. Yeah. That being said, uh, is it within in, in arc? Yeah, Vader? Vader's only in arc. Oh, okay, because that used to be range two anywhere, right? Uh, Vader was range one to two anywhere, but you had to damage yourself. Right, yes, but so now, now it's, it's in arc, so it's much harder to trigger. Yeah. 
And soon tears just peeling out. Huh? Yes, no need for him to do anything. Okay. That is last round anyway, so it's just whether or not he dodged the arc for the Vader. Yeah. And it looks like he was able to get out of range of the Vader. All right. Yeah. That's it, ladies and gentlemen. The game is over. Our winner for the 2018 PTL Open is Rob McNeil. A very well-flown match. Yeah, uh, absolutely. Lots of uh, interesting um, uh, interesting uh, uh, flying towards the beginning in mm -hmm. terms of keeping themselves, uh, trying to get the engagement on their own terms. Yes, right? absolutely. Um, but uh, eventually Robin took it uh, and just uh, went for it, that is, and, uh, and took it by being slightly more aggressive, I think, than Bahan in yep. the end. Uh, and, that, and that is what won it.